Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use NetBird's activity and event logging feature. This is a tool that was designed to continuously track all the changes within your network. So things like user logins, policy creations, policy updates and any system configuration changes. And that's not just great for compliance and troubleshooting, but you can also stream those logs to third party tools like Datadog, AWS S3 and AWS Firehose and that can help you to automate other reports and set up proactive alerts for incident management. One of the best aspects of this feature is that it's built into the platform and enabled by default and I will walk you through everything now step by step so you can make the most of this feature. To access your event logs go to the NetBird dashboard and then click on the activity tab. And here you have all the detailed logs of all the network activities. Now let's take a closer look at some of these logs to give you some context. For example, here's an event log entry that shows that a new peer was added in the geolocation Berlin. And then one of the following events shows that a group called development was created by Andrew. And then in the next log you see that this newly created group called development was associated with the newly joined peer. Now this sequence of events makes it clear at what point the new device joined your network, then at what point and who created a new group, and then how that new group was linked to the new peer. And this is important because this kind of information helps you to monitor access to your critical resources, which is especially important if there are specific access rights granted to specific groups and therefore specific peers. These are just a few examples of the events that you will find in your activity feed. For a complete list of tracked events, check our documentation that I have linked below. Now, as your network grows and more events accumulate, you will also find the filtering options useful. You can filter by date, by event type, by user or search for specific keywords. For example, if you were troubleshooting a policy creation issue from last week, you could use the time filter to narrow down the results and then you could search for policy to pinpoint exactly what you're looking for. And I hope now you will start getting an idea of how this feature is useful for compliance and troubleshooting, because each event creates a detailed audit log and that will help you to review what happened and also identify who is responsible. But it becomes even more valuable if you stream the events to third-party platforms. We currently support sending events to Datadog, to AWS S3 and to AWS Firehose. And I will focus on the Datadog integration for a moment. I'm in the Datadog Log Explorer right now. And this is what you will see once the integration with NetBird is set up. You will see a real-time stream of events from NetBird appearing chronologically from the moment the integration was activated. And this integration with Datadog can now further enhance the troubleshooting and compliance capabilities. For example, if you'd like to be notified when there's a new machine added to your network, you could enable a real-time alert and you could also enable real-time alerts for any other significant network changes. That obviously depends on what's important to you. But you see how this method could help you with proactive incident management and also with simplifying or even automating the generation of audit reports. Each event in Datadog contains a generic description of what happened and then if you click on the event you will have more detailed meta information about who was involved and when it happened. Now I'll show you how this integration with Datadog is set up. So we do have a step-by-step -step guide on integrating with all the third-party platforms that we currently support, but in this video I will guide you through the process of integrating with Datadog. It's a very quick process, but before you start ensure that you have a Datadog account and that you have permissions to create and manage API keys. Then you go to the Datadog API site. There's a link provided here in the setup instructions. And now all you do is click on new API key and then you generate a new key and you can use the name from our guide for this key or you can choose your own name. Next, you copy the API key and paste it into the NetBird UI and then you click on connect and that's it. The integration is now enabled and you should start seeing NetBird events streaming into Datadog. 